Hello and welcome. I'm Bronson and you're watching the first episode of House of Hoon. So before we get into the video, I thought I'd just do a quick clip on what this channel is going to be all about. So probably the main thing that I'll be featuring on this channel is metal fabrication, and that's because I'm a boilermaker, welder, fabricator, whatever the hell you want to call me. So I'll mostly be showing you car related footage, such as my four wheel drive right here. I also have a performance car and a classic car, as well as all my friends and family which are into cars. So I'll be taking you along for a ride to show you what they have as well. I'll also be showing you some of the mechanical work that I carry out on my own vehicles, as well as 3D printing, CAD design, and obviously some four wheel drive and camping trips. So basically anything that I'm doing that I think other people might be half interested in, I'll try and film it and show you guys. So before I start babbling on anymore, let's get into this video. Welcome to House of Hoon. So on today's episode, I'm going to be making a rear ladder for the canopy on my patrol. For those of you with a keen eye, you'll notice that I've started filming my intro after I've started actually filming the video. So obviously, I'm a seasoned professional. So let me show you how my current ladder setup is. So I'll pull out my ladder from the inside of my canopy. I keep it in this nice little cardboard box that the ladder came in when I bought it off eBay. It's just a telescopic ladder, which is pretty typical for most rooftop tents. And you just undo the Velcro, pull it up like so. Comes up pretty easy. Lay it against there and start climbing. So, it's a good ladder. God damn it, Jimmy. You're always ruining the shot. So, like I was saying, it's a good ladder. Really cheap off eBay. It works pretty good. Sometimes it gets jammed up with mud and sand getting in the slides and, and whatnot, but you just get some pr compressed air and blow it out, some silicon spray, and it makes it work pretty good. So, the... The main issue is that there's nothing actually holding it to the canopy, so it can it can fall pretty easily. Luckily, it hasn't fallen over so far, or somebody hasn't taken it while I've been sleeping, but I'm sure that'll be coming one day. As well as the fact that you've got to pull it in and out of the canopy all the time, so that's why I've decided to make a permanently mounted ladder to the rear of the canopy. So that it just makes life a bit easier and quicker. Then to pack up the telescopic ladder, you just push these little switches in, and like you can see, the top is a little bit stuck. You need to grease it up a little bit. Next one goes pretty good. Keep your hands out of the way because you can get them pinched pretty easily. Back it back up, rack it back in the bag again. Or a cardboard box. The reason I keep the cardboard box is when it's sandy and muddy, you don't go and get all the sand and mud inside your canopy. And close the canopy back up again. So the rear ladder is actually going to double as a spare tyre carrier. So, so when I'm touring with my 33s, I actually keep the spare inside my canopy so that I can keep the weight a bit further forward in the car rather than have it hang off the back wall. However, when I've got my play tires on, I don't actually have enough room to fit the spare tire inside the canopy. So I've had to resort to making this ladder and making the spare wheel hang off the back wall. So the ladder is going to double as a tire carrier which means that I have to put a bit more thought into the design of it because it's doing two jobs rather than one. It's basically going to be a two-stage ladder. So the first stage will swing down and then you can climb up it to get into the rooftop. And then the second stage will be for the whole ladder to basically fold down and allow you to sit the tire on the ladder as it comes down. So that way, instead of trying to lift a huge tire by myself, up from the ground all the way onto the wall, I can just use the ladder as basically a leverage point to lift it up and down, or at least that's the theory. I've now bored you with enough theory, so let's get on to some practical. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Alrighty, so I've got the ladder all undercoated. Now it's time to pick a top color. So I could just go a nice white like this. That would match my tray, my cab. Yeah, could do, but nah. Or I could go a nice black. Now black matches everything, but no. Or I could go red. And to me, that sounds much better. Well, without any further ado, I present to you one very red rear ladder. So once I got it painted, I finished it off with a couple of little bit extra touches, such as a bit of rubber on here where the tire sits, just to try and stop any rotation of the tire happening, as well as some anti-slip tape, which is on all of the steps, as well as a few 3D printed parts. So we've got these knobs up here, which hold the ladder to the canopy or allow it to fold down when they're undone as well as a couple little spaces which i've got in between instead of washers so that just allows it to pivot without wrecking the paint so i think it's time i actually run you through how this ladder actually works so to drop the main part of the ladder you just undo these little clips which is pretty simple fold that down like so and then that allows you to climb up to your rooftop which is nice and simple and then back down again then we've got these little 3d printed knobs which hold the ladder to the canopy so we just take them off And then that allows the top section to also fold down and into the bottom section. Now to show you how I actually lift the tire up onto the tire holder. So we just lift it up onto this first section of the ladder. Make sure it's nice and flat against the ladder itself. Reach down for these handles. Pivot it up. like so and then you just screw in your little bolts into the side and that holds it up obviously you've got a plate here which holds the wheel against the back wall with some nice pressure on it and then to let it down it's almost a reverse but not quite of going up so we drop the ladder down like so and then wiggle the tire out a little bit. And drop it down. And it's easy as that. Much easier than physically lifting the tire all the way up from the ground up to here, especially when you're a lightweight like myself. So now to answer the two most common questions I'm probably gonna get asked. One, why is it red? Well, because I wanted it to, why not? And two, the material. So why did I make it out of steel instead of aluminium? So the reason for that is basically because this was a last minute build. I hadn't planned it very well, which wasn't ideal, but things like that happen. So it would have been awesome if I could have got the laser cutter to cut it all out for me in aluminium and that would just be real sweet but didn't have the time had to get it done now i've got a bit of aluminium in the workshop but i don't have the correct thicknesses of what i wanted to make it out of so i just decided to make it out of steel got plenty of steel here and once it's painted red well most people aren't going to know anyway now as for the weight factor i've used quite thin steel on this 
So it's not actually as heavy as what you'd think. The whole ladder and the tire carrier, the brackets, the bolts, everything, I weighed it all and it weighs 15 kilos. So I think that's pretty damn good for a ladder that has a double folding function as well as a tire carrier and everything that goes with it. Now, if you wanted to make a lightweight aluminium version of this ladder, you'd probably save 10, 20%, something like that on what this does. But in reality, it's really not that much. I'd love to hear what everyone has to say about the build on the ladder, as well as my first video. As of two weeks ago, I didn't even have an editing program to edit these videos. So I'm very new to this. I'm trying to learn the ropes and all the features in the software and all that as well as different filming techniques and whatnot. So if you've got any tips on how to improve my filming or editing or anything like that, or even fabrication of my build, happy for, uh, for anyone to comment and give me their opinion and any hints or tips or tricks on how to get it all done. If you found this video somewhat interesting and you wanna follow along on some of my future builds, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that like button, that would be greatly appreciated and I'll catch you on the next video.